everyone. We are going the same route as we normally would, except we are going to Ace Hardware, which is just directly off the road of where we go. And this is only this is right where we would enable autopilot anyway, for self driving. So this will be 99.9% .9 the same drive as we normally would. Now turn left onto Highway. So ideally, this is going to turn a little bit more to the left here. Uh, well, can this car get around me? Yeah, it's going through the parking lot. Oh, and it's going into the parking lot. So is that car? Huh. And it's green light. Let's see if we can make this turn well. Very good, very good. Doesn't turn too wide. Previous updates would turn too wide and I would have to disengage because it would have gone right into that curb. This is very good. Though it also, the speed limit's wrong. It's 25 right here uh, until we get up to the sign and then it's 35 right here. But uh, we'll just go ahead and let it go. Go to the speed limit and we'll see how it does at the roundabout. Breaking there for no reason. It might have seen the red light too early. It should be slowing though. I wish what it would do is just kind of like stay slow instead of speeding back up uh, so it doesn't jerk back and forth until it kind of figures it out that it doesn't have to go anywhere. Oh, we, ba we passed this bolt on the way out or the way here. And now we're pass passing her again. See how it does here. It's slowing well for this car in front of us. And take the second exit. And it's already go. I'm pressing accelerator to give it. And now I'm not. Ooh, now I'm pressing it. It shouldn't have stopped there. So if it didn't stop, that would have been really good. But it stopped through that roundabout. And for chill mode, even the acceleration out of here was pretty good. That was even faster than I would normally accelerate out of there. I, I, I don't find it to be a bad thing, but I just see it unnecessary. Okay, I'm curious how it's gonna, it's not actually gonna turn us in here. I'm gonna actually go ahead and disengage and turn us into Ace here. And we'll come out at the other intersection. Oh, look there, Model S. And that looks like a, P100D. I don't know if I've ever seen that one here before. Or in this area. Or P90D, rather. Okay. We'll see you once we get back out. Okay, everyone. Took a little bit longer to get out of Ace than I expected. Um, if you saw, I had a little incident. I cut myself on a pipe in there. Um, I had to come back out and fix that. So let's see how it does getting out of here. This is not going to be a normal spot. There's a very blind left turn right here. And... Okay, I'm gonna push and make it go for it. So this is kind of how you have to get out of this entrance right here. Just kind of have to go for it. how this gets us in this turn here it's cool how it could recognize that car is already slowing down maybe it's the oh come on it got the wrong turn in 500 feet turn left onto light street it's this turn right up here where this car is going it's gonna fail this because it doesn't have space Okay, we see if we can get both of those. Um, yeah, get both of those um, in there. Yeah, those turns are gonna, this turn specifically, that, that you have such a tiny amount, you have two cars of space um, to turn right there. And also, when a car turns off like that, it needs to accelerate quicker. It just kind of just stays there like it's not sure if the car has already left the lane or not. 
It needs to start accelerating as soon as that car leaves the lane. Now turn right onto Cayuga Road. <laughs> also, I wish there was a way we could like submit feedback to the maps. Canugar is wrong. It's Canuga. Canuga is how you pronounce that road. Okay, considering that was a good turn. I think I saw these people here and that's why it braked. Let's see how it does at this turn up here. Previous updates would take a left right where that black car is in the blue mini. Yeah, see it's still trying to turn the blinker on, but turns the right blinker on to go around this curve, which is not necessary. Now it needs to turn the left blinker on. Oh, that's improved. Okay, that's definitely improved. And too soon to break fully, but it's good to go. You gonna make it? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm pressing accelerator so it doesn't break all the way. That was an improvement for, for sure. Best it's ever done that. Obviously, it still has a few hiccups, but definitely the best it's ever done that. So we're going to go in the habitat again real quick, and I'll see you once we're out. Hello, everyone. You are leaving. Didn't find anything in here. Here we are headed out to our main street test after this. Now turn right onto West Allen Street. See if it, how it stops the stop sign. It's not. Okay, here's the stop sign. And then get, you can go, it's this person right here is. Okay, as you can, I don't know if you can see the dip. It needs to, that's gonna probably be a common disengagement is because of that dip. Thirty feels too fast in here for me, especially since we're coming up to a now stop sign. Left onto South Main Street. I'm gonna have to do. This is a little bit better than it was on the previous update. It was um, a little bit less hesitant. Now we're gonna reroute down Main Street here. Don't think about that. Just, just trying to think about going around the car. Okay, so I'm gonna disengage and let this CRV driver in. Um, that's something that's gonna be interesting how I think that's again another example of AGI, artificial general intelligence, to where the car is going to have to decipher, hey, there's a car um, sitting here, its wheels are turned out as if it wants to go that um, towards the road, it turned its blinker on, and um, so a human would think, hey, that car probably wants to get out, we should give them room, instead of just, you know, being a dick and just going past and not letting them out. Um, so that's what, what we did. And so, and so now the lights <laughs> turn yellow, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, so that's something like maybe autonomous cars are just going to be kind of rude. They're not going to let people out and all that stuff. But who knows? That's that's a good question. I'm, I'm curious how like Waymo or anyone else would handle that type of situation because I'm sure it happens quite often in a city where you have someone pulled off on the side and they want to get out. And you're just, you're being courteous, so you let them out. That was a good, good acceleration. Oh, it changed back to 30 again. This is not, regardless if somehow the speed limit's 30 on this road, I don't know how, how it would be marked 30. Uh, it is way too fast for this type of area. The car needs to learn, hey, when you're really close proximity to people and other things, 30 is not an appropriate speed. 20 would probably be the fastest I would want to go on Main Street here. They've purposely curved it so people couldn't go fast in here. And that was done many years ago. Let's say we got ourselves a Model Y coming up on the left. It used to be uh, three, three and a half years ago when I got my car.
Um, you didn't see any Teslas. I was one of the first in the entire county. Um, see what it's gonna do here. This car is trying to. This car decided to do a U turn, and this car over here is trying to get out of parking. Yeah, so we had a situation where it looks like a lady in a handicapped spot was trying to leave. Another guy was trying to go to that handicapped spot. And, um... And, yeah, so she and just decided not two, to go. Your destination will be on the left. So I'm trying to creep us forward. I think because of the motorcycles here everything else is not liking me forcing it forward yes yeah, it's, it's given <laughs> and the more hairs pulling it out <laughs> uh, and this person you know, we're having to wait because they're trying to turn around I was able to handle that but it got confused for sure no, no. Okay, so we're gonna take a right here and oh. now this is gonna be a good test it says no turn on red so we're this is probably gonna fail yep it's trying to go Let's go ahead and mark that eventually they need to be able to see the no turn on red signs maybe if I just get a whole bunch of disengagements here they're just gonna they just they need to figure that out okay we're just gonna stop it. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to turn on red here. And so the car needs to figure it out. There's several spots in town where it just does not figure that out. And so it's gonna be a while. Well, hopefully not a while. Hopefully next year we'll have that solved. Okay. So actually, probably not gonna get any full self driving here. Yeah, because I'm just turning into this here. But yeah, I'm taking a quick pick stop right here, and then I will see you on the way back towards all these. Hey, everyone. I've decided to cut this video sh uh, a little bit shorter. The, the length would have been like over a half hour, I think, for everything. So I decided just to split this into two parts. Uh, as always, appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next video.